Hey everyone, today we're going to create an Orton glow effect in Photoshop. So let's just get to it. So here's our image and I'm going to duplicate this by hitting Command J or Control J on a PC. Or I can drag it and drop it right in here and that duplicates it so you guys can see it easily on screen. So now that we have our duplicated image, we can go up to Image and Apply Image and make sure you have Multiply selected. We've already got it here. Hit OK. And now we can go over here and go to screen. There you go. So now we gotta add a bit of a blur to this and that adds that glowing effect. So we go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and you can find what works. Let's go extreme here so you guys can see. There's a lot of glow happening here. Or let's bring it back to where it's a little bit more realistic. And I'm gonna show you guys how to blend this a little bit better so it looks, again, more realistic. So there's before and there's after. So you can dial down the opacity if it's too extreme and there it looks a lot better. Or you can mix and match. So let's go up a little bit on the opacity and let's throw a layer mask on here. Now if you invert this layer mask by hitting Command I on a Mac or Control I on a PC, it'll change it to black and that essentially hides that effect. See, I turn it off on, you don't really see any changes. So now you make sure you have your mask selected, you go to the brush, make sure you have a white brush selected, and let's go with, I'm gonna go to about 38% and make the brush a little bit larger. And now we can essentially paint through that glow effect wherever we want it. So let's just paint it through really quick here. There you go, and it's added a lot of magic and it's just made this waterfall look pretty incredible. So there you go, you can see all my brush strokes here. Let's turn this off, on, and I'm gonna dial this up even a bit more. So there's before and there's after. So that's it, and what I'm gonna do is provide a link in the description so you guys can download three Orton effects, three different versions of it with different radius on the Gaussian blur, and it'll just work for different images and that way you guys can play with it and have fun or you can follow this tutorial and just build it yourself. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video.